So good, exponential technology change. There's going to be lots and lots of technologies coming through in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. What are maybe the three most significant technologies that you see coming through or that are being developed or going to be developed um, in the next five year period that are really going to disrupt businesses and industries? Yeah, there's, there's three major things here. One is that um, intelligent computing, cognitive computing, what has been referred to artificial intelligence, which is really a misnomer because it's neither artificial nor really intelligent. But, but let's say, okay, thinking machines, right, in the widest sense. That's one. The second one is uh, genetic engineering. People, food, environments, you know, basically programming things, nanotechnology also, which is sort of separate flip side of this, but, you know, changing who we are and what things are by inventing new material sciences. Right? And uh, the third one is geo geoengineering which is how to change our weather, how to fight climate change, how to deal with decarbonization. And those are all technologies that are currently exploding. But the, the, the one that's really the most powerful one is, is machines that can have somewhat similar uh, expression possibilities in humans that can understand things that can, we can talk to. You know. uh, for example, a very big change in our lives will be talking to machines, not typing or apps or anything just speaking you know? nice. and that is imminent basically. it's working five years we'll all be speaking and, and controlling our systems with our voice and that's that's a huge behavior change also like you know search on the search engine with a web browser yeah so we'll yeah it's like yeah <laughs> who's gonna do that my grandmother maybe but it's kind of like you're gonna speak to the machine the machine knows who you are and it's going to use a natural interface with gestures and voice and so that, that's a very very big driver intelligent machines is i think it's mostly positive but it's quite scary for people because they watch too many hollywood movies you know 